1,600 feet below the ground in Sweetwater County, Wyoming lies the state's biggest export. Hydrated sodium bicarbonate carbonate, Petrona, soda ash. Green River is the largest deposit in the world, formed in a layer of evaporate deposits. In the Green River Basin, 25 of the thickest beds contain 127 billion tons of Petrona, with 40 billion considered recoverable. This is enough for 2,500 years of extraction at the current rate. We can add soda ash to sand and calcium carbonate and heat it up over 800 degrees Celsius and then cool it rapidly and you get soda glass. The FMC West Vaco plant has 225 people mining, 4.5 million tons of trona annually, working 10 hour shifts, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They work as much as 1,500 feet underground in a labyrinth of 225 miles of caves and tunnels. The FMC Granger facility was shut down in 2001 due to poor market conditions, but in 2008, the FMC Food Machinery Chemical Corporation's Alkali Division initiated the recommissioning of the mothballed capacity for its Granger facility. In 2011, FMC announced plans to restart the facility with an annual capacity of 500,000 tons. And that's where the carpenters come in. These cooling towers have been sitting out of commission for the last decade and were in need of a tune-up. So they got all new splash stations, louver arms, and a complete overhaul of a structural skeleton. Later that year, FMC announced a second phase of expansion and contracted CH2M Hill to carry, carry out the detailed design engineering works for the expansion. In 2014, FMC placed Alkali on the market in an effort to finance its $1.8 billion acquisition of Caminova, a Danish crop protection company. FMC had owned and operated the mine for 65 years. Alkali Chemicals would have generated $800 million in revenue that year. Its parent company, Kerr McGee, spun off a chemical division into Tronex Incorporation creating a separate company and saddling it with billions of dollars in environmental damages. Chonex contended that the move allowed Antarctica to purchase Kerr McGee and avoid paying damages. Two federal judges agreed and Antarctica was ordered to pay back $5.15 billion. The money would be used to clean up thousands of creosote and uranium sites nationwide.